Greetings, my name is Cesar and along with my teammates Israel, Nicolas and Max, we will present to you a research project about advancing additive manufacturing techniques into the field of construction. Housing is a factor that affects every single person on the planet, and due to overpopulation, inequality and decreasing purchasing power, homes are becoming inaccessible. However, new advanced construction methods can cheapen homes and even decrease our environmental footprint. In this presentation, we will explore the global housing situation and the conventional construction methods with their problems. We will propose and analyze two solutions that are possible thanks to additive manufacturing. These are hierarchical infill patterns and sustainable composites. The following are some of the most used construction methods. This is because they are simple, affordable and have a good availability. Masonry is a simple brick and mortar pattern for walls with reinforced concrete frame. It is known for its durability and resistance to harsh climates. Wood frames work as a superstructure that holds a house, then walls are made of wood panels. This method is very simple and faster than masonry. It also requires less effort. Structural insulated panels are made of foam between two oriented strand wood boards. They are used with or without a frame depending on the scale of the project. This method is very inexpensive and fast to place when working without a frame. Finally, the concrete formwork uses molds that are filled with concrete that takes the final shape of the house. It has integral insulation, but it is very expensive. Although masonry can last hundreds of years, when the climate has extreme changes, the water content in the bricks may cause them to break. Therefore, hydrophobic coats are being used to deal with this problem. Also, masonry doesn't insulate as required by laws, so a wooden frame is used behind the brick walls to help with insulation. Any type of wood is susceptible to moisture damage, fire and pests. That is why insurance in Canada can cost six times more than what would cost for a concrete building. However, simple solutions like fire retardant, chemical impregnation and pressure treatments can mitigate any situation, although some may be very environmentally unfriendly. Concrete is very resistant in compression forces but weak in tension. That is why steel meshes are used as reinforcers. Also, concrete can be very environmentally unfriendly during processing, its service life and decommission. For these, new formulas with the addition of plastics and low processing temperature minerals are being used to decrease the stored carbon or its escape. Concrete 3D printing process is a solution that could solve housing problems and shortcomings. Utilizing 3D printing techniques on a large scale for residential construction, however, is a novel approach that comes with its own set of unique challenges. In an attempt to address the shortcomings identified in the background, the core objective requirements will be scoped to affordability, structural integrity, and environmental concern of housing construction. As a general function, the intended solution, solution should improve in those three aspects with respect to the traditional construction methods while solving concrete 3D printing challenges. The main challenge with this novel additive method is inappropriate adhesive between layers during material deposition, which reduces flexural strength. As a constraint, the solution should build houses using novel and advanced manufacturing techniques. We propose using two advanced techniques found in nature that we believe have the potential to make housing cheaper, structurally better and environmentally friendly. These techniques, however, require a certain degree of specialization, since we will need a house 3D printer to apply them. The techniques are honeycomb hierarchical infill pattern structures and concrete-like sustainable composites. These are advanced biomimetic techniques that can make a house as good as a regular house or better. Moving on to the design process of smart infill patterns. In lectures, it was taught that multi-scale reinforcements have compounding results. From this standpoint, a hierarchical honeycomb infill provides additional structural integrity without having to resort to stronger and more expensive materials. To achieve this, a higher resolution extrusion head needs to be developed. As you can see in the image below, the current conventional extrusion heads are rather large, so if we can design a smaller one, 
it will be possible to achieve a scale range of millimeter to centimeter slash meter. Now, that doesn't account for the microscale. In this case, the microscale will be accounted for by foaming of polyurethane. This foaming will add compression strength as well as enhanced insulation. Comparatively, conventional concrete extrusion uses either solid walls or a simple hatched infill. Thus, a two-pronged approach of technique and technology can advance current 3D concrete printing technology. The design process for the proposed sustainable composite is quite simple. Concrete is typically composed of cement, which is a matrix and an aggregate such as gravel. The proposed sustainable composite solution is a material substitution of cement with rice husk fibers and mud lime, which will reduce the overall cost and environmental impact at the cost of some structural performance. Rice husk fibers can be substituted due to the silica content present, which is needed for the concrete properties. The preparation process for a sustainable composite is similar to conventional concrete or glass fiber reinforced concrete. Components are placed together in a container where it is then mixed. The rice husk fibers may require some cleaning and sorting depending on the desired properties, and water and other modifiers will need to be added as needed for the desired overall properties. Moving on to the technical analysis of the smart infill pattern. Major benefits provided by this hierarchical honeycomb and foaming technique include anti-buckling, anti-impact, anti-crushing, and low thermal conductivity. All of these factors are which important to a strong supporting wall when 3D printing in concrete. Energy absorption is the aspect that benefits the most from this honeycombing technique. Overall, the results are promising, but the challenge is to recreate these benefits on a smaller scale and to avoid exponential increase in extrusion time to avoid premature concrete curing. Because so many steps are being included compared to conventional concrete 3D printing, the risk is that the printing time will increase exponentially, and in doing so, the layers of concrete may cure well before the next layer can efficiently bond with it, thus reducing the overall strength of the walls. Assuming these limitations can be overcome, it should be plausible that this hierarchical honeycombing technique should be able to produce material properties similar to that of a reference solid wall of concrete in the table below. For a conventional concrete mixture, approximately 15% is cement and 85% is the aggregate and other modifiers such as plasticizer. Our proposed mixture for the composite is replacing 20% of the cement with rice husk and half of the remaining cement with mud lime. Rice husk is generally a waste product from farming and is relatively cheap. A similar case arises for mud lime. For constructing houses in rural or impoverished regions, the substitution of these materials can have significant savings in not only material costs, but transportation as well. From an environmental standpoint, this proposed mixture is also beneficial. A common disposal method of rice husk is as a fertilizing material or burned. However, both of these methods have significant greenhouse gas emissions through decomposition or combustion. By substituting it into the cement, these carbon releases can be offset. Overall, there are still other cost and environmental savings that have not been included, but the proposed mixture still results in various savings. It is important to note that by using the sustainable composite mixture, there is a reduction in flexural strength compared with regular concrete formula. One of the major improvements could be applied to the hierarchical honeycomb structure. Currently, we only have multi-scale structural design from the micro, voids in insulation foam to the macro, hierarchical honeycomb patterns size. In future work, the addition of micro and nanocellular foaming could be studied and developed, generating a complete nano to the micro structural scale of the infill pattern. This will provide enhanced strength and thugness and will keep lightweight due to the presence of nanovoids inside microvoids. Secondly, another future world could be to study both solutions together in order to determine their mechanical and thermal properties together. In conclusion, both smart infill patterns and sustainable materials meet the objectives requirements of this project. Afford affordability, house cost is reduced by optimizing and replacing concrete material. 
for structural integrity, the honeycomb patterns and the composite of matrix and fiber enhance the mechanical properties of a house wall. Finally, both reduce environmental impact through the use of renewable and sustainable materials.